So this is the SJ Cam 5000. And this is what happens when it just falls in water. So it kind of floats up. So I might give it a bigger bowl. And see what's happening with it. Here. As you can tell, it's still recording and still on. And you see a little flash of what light blue right there. You see it? Doesn't seem to be any water damage on it. Let me check. So, the screen is very nice actually, I really do like it, um, it's currently selected on 1080p 60 frames per second, you can also go up to 2k 30 frames per second and 4k 24 frames per second. So 24, you would want to use the 4k for like cinematic shots, like uh, not for like action movie stuff, just like nice calm peaceful shots and make it look nice. So, but then the 1080p 60 frames per second, you would want to use that for like uh, kayaking or motocross or something like that. So it's a very nice screen. I really do like it. Oh, and it just turns off automatically so it can, can conserve battery power, which I really do like about that. You just click the top button to uh, get the screen back on. So I'm not sure if, the, I do have the gyro, the gyro on, so I will do a test of that without the gyro on. So this is the outside test. Looks really good, to be honest. 
I might do a 4K shot in a minute. Uh, I hope the audio is really good. I'm d I just have a non waterproof backing on because there's all the slips in the side of it. So, like, snow won't damage it because it's currently snowing out. I have the gyro on right now because I don't like it when it's not on because I have very shaky hands when it's cold out. You know, everyone does. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to turn on 4K. Okay, so now it's on 4K, 24 frames per second, and I'm going to do it on 2K, 30 frames per second. This is a 4K. I hope it looks better than 1080p, of course. There's like a slight delay in the on the monitor on the back of the little screen. So I'm going to now go into 20, 2K, 30 frames per second. Now I'm on 2K 30 frames per second. I hope it looks a lot better than 1080p, of course. I'm not going to go into 1080p 30 frames per second. Just imagine that I had a lower quality than the tent, than uh, the last last clip outside. God, it's freaking cold out here. So I'm gonna. That's this is the outside test. I'm not sure what other tests, but I'll have to think of one. So, yeah. So, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a, um, a better light situation. It's, it's like 5 o'clock out, and it's already dark, so tomorrow, around 2 o'clock, I will do a outside test again, because this is a, like a low light situation. So, tomorrow, I'll, I'll do a higher light situation. You like... <laughs> Okay, so this is the SJ5000X Elite Pro, whatever you want to call it, in a pretty bright environment right now. Oh, well, yeah. This is at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Gyro is on. So I'm going to 2K next. So now it's on 2K 30 frames per second. And there's a huge difference in the frames. Oh my god. This is in a bright environment. Again, this in 4K will be the same. So now it's at so now it's at 4K 24 frames per second. It is in its case right now because it's freezing out. And it's in the uh, non waterproof backing. I'll, sh I'll show you a picture of it where there's like slips in the side. I probably won't because I'll probably be too lazy to get it.